Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Bus. Um, on this one, we're actually not going to do any work on the car. I feel like it's about time I should probably do a walk around uh, of the Luxie and um, go kind of through everything that I've done. So like right now, it's kind of, it's budget. It's a budget rig. The only thing that's not budget is the engine turbo and all the rebuild and stuff. Um, but like, everything else is pretty budget. So um, yeah, let's get into a walk around. Okay, so first things first, um, let's go over, let's just start from the front. So when I bought this, when I bought the Luxie, it already had the bull bar and the tray on it. So pretty much uh, everything else is really new. So um, for the winch, I've just got the King's 12,000 pound Dominator, just, you know, just a cheapie. Um, like I said, this, this at this point in time, it's a budget rig, just some cheap light bar as well. I've, I've also done a return to center steering dampener just down here so there's that one so coming into the cab i've got some crappy uhf that was already in it um and obviously the gme aerial so i'm planning to swap that to the one that not exactly what the model number is but the one that i can just have tucked out of the way and all the controls are on the handle so that'll be like the next evolution of my UHF system. This is just a double din head unit I've put in here. I uh, would like to get something with CarPlay, but you know, it's still a 1990 Toyota Hilux. So at the end of the day, that's still heaps better than what it had. Um, so I've got a uh, reverse camera here. So this actually isn't wired up um, to my reverse. So I've got this wired up. Um, to a camera that's sitting on the back of my dog box, so that way I can see out the back. Um, just thought that was a bit of a bit of a no-brainer for the visibility side of things. So here we are in the driver's seat. I've also got my boost and exhaust temp. So previous in previous episodes, um, uh, the exhaust temperature wasn't really working, so I had to put in a whole new gauge um, to get that to work. I am planning on getting a. Uh, water temp and oil pressure gauge here um, just above it so the, exactly the same style of gauge except it'll have oil pressure and water temp so just so that way I only have two gauges not four uh, I've also got just one of the cheap King's HUDs so there it is there and then there that is and then there's the reverse camera so yeah I've got a lot of I've got a lot of um, devices I guess like right here but uh, it's a pretty old, pretty old rig, so it's definitely farm truck. It doesn't even have, it doesn't have a oil pressure light, as far as I'm aware, on this one. Another thing I've done inside the cab is I put some Chrysler Grand Voyager um, leather seats in, so they're heaps more comfy than the uh, stock bench seats. Uh, I've also just pulled this uh, center console out of a BT50, believe it or not and uh just cut it up to the rough shape i needed so i still want to get i want to find a manual four-wheel drive bt50 cover for this um to just just see if they'll fit they may not um but just out of just just to see to make it look neat so just at the moment i've just cut some marine carpet and screwed it through the plastic so it does i'm actually really happy with it heap more comfier for uh, long trips So let's just move on out to the dog box. So this is kind of where I've actually done the most stuff. And like I said, it's budget rig. So the dog box I actually picked up for, I think it was only 250 bucks. It was like when pre-COVID, I think I got it, um, or just at the start of COVID. So had plenty of time to sit at home trying to fit it out. So that was nice. Okay. so. Let's just jump into the dog box and just have a quick peek in here. So in here, uh, we've just got a bit of um, plywood. So for this, I just got some marine carpet, uh, used some glue and some um, staples and just stapled it onto the timber. So yeah, I cut this all out myself. 
it's not it's not perfect you know you've got to you can only do as good as uh, what you're capable of at the time so the next version will be better so just got the uh, Adventure Kings 1500 watt inverter so just got that mounted to the wall nice and easy just got the uh, Adventure Kings power box so here you know you've got your USBs you've got three 12 volt SIG plugs um, and I've got my Anderson plugs connected so obviously this one's running the 1500 watt inverter and then that, that left one is uh, actually running the, the fridge just at the back there and here we just have the uh, MPPT 40 amp uh, solar controller so I do actually have a solar panel on the roof uh, in this you can see we've got 14.6 volts by the looks of that so everything that you could possibly need in there uh, and then over here we've just got the battery so this is just one of those gel batteries I've just kept it in the battery box um, because I've had bolted the battery box through here um, just so that way it's you know can't move and all of that other jazz one more thing to mention is the drawers so I do have this is kind of my tool side this is kind of where I work out of um, when something goes wrong which uh, it's an old it's an old Luxie so stuff always is going to go wrong so we'll just jump into this side where the fridge is so nice gas struts I've had to replace the gas struts in, in it a couple times the previous when I bought it it was uh they were too long and or something and I've actually had that hit my head a few times the gas struts come off and absolutely belted right on the top of my head and it's fucking not a fun time anyways so yeah here's me fridge just here and this thing is an eBay special I got it when I was 19 I think and it was like 350 bucks on eBay and I have had this thing running in the Luxie for since I've had the solar panels in, so that's probably going to be three years now. And this little Cryo thing, or whatever it's called, has not skipped a beat. It has been running, because I just have the solar panel, I just leave it on. So it's been running for so long, so, I mean, budget, but awesome. Like, can't do better than that. And then just in this side, I've got my, uh, just here, I've got all my cooking side. So, typically... Typically, I just use the tray as a table. Um, obviously, I take a, take a table as well. So, that's pretty much everything for the dog box. Um, I do have an awning just up here, just here, which is nice. So, I just want to talk about uh, a little bit about my plans for the Luxie this year. So, I'm for this year, I'm planning to um, the first thing that I'm that I'm going to have to do is put an intercooler uh, on it, front mount. I'm thinking because just top mount, you just you just got all the heat going straight up into it, and I'm not, I'm not about that. So we'll just get the front mount intercooler on there and run all the pipes and everything because the EGTs, it's an old luxury. It, the EGTs are fucked, considering that it it's had a fresh rebuild. But uh, water temp is actually really really good, so. That's, that's a surprise, but I suppose that the big radiator helps with that. The other plan I'm hoping to do, this one will take Deluxe off the road for a, for a couple months, I reckon. Um, I really, I'm, I'm sick of the, the shit paint job. I'm sure you can see behind me there's little rust spots all up the top of the top of the windscreen. So um, the plan is to pull the tray off, give the chassis a respray, then give the cab a respray. I'm probably going to need to get some new doors. As well as new doors, I'll probably need um, the fenders. Uh, they're pretty cactus. So I'll probably need to cut out my snorkel hole again. But you can just order, like the doors I'll need to get from the wrecker, but the fenders you can just get from um, just online. I can't remember the website, but yeah, you can you can just order them online unpainted. So I'll just get them and paint them. And the plan is, I kind of want to do everything myself. So I want to learn how to paint the want to learn how to paint the uh, cab it'll be a bit of a challenge but I'm, <laughs> I uh, I don't know if you can see this on camera but this thing is like dented as so my plan is um, to just get a new new doors both sides and also the 
because it's got these big farm truck mirrors on it, it's um they started to rust out. The driver's side ones are, uh, looks like it's about to break off, so it's definitely about time. So the other plan, this I've been thinking about for a while. My, the main plan, the main reason I'm pulling the tray off is because I actually want to take off. It's, it's, it's too long. I want to take off about three, 400 mil off this and just shorten it up. So that's, that's the plan. Just shorten the whole thing up. It's, it's just, it's just too long. I've, I went to, um, I've been out to Beachport and <laughs> had the coming down sand dunes. Um, and I came down one that had like real, it went down really sharp and then up, up. Um, so <laughs> my approach and departure angle in this thing is shocking. So I ended up just bull bar on one side of the sand, um, tray on the other side of the sand, just wheels just bending out to get someone to come pull me out. So um, yeah, no, I definitely need to shorten that up. And then I also still have the tray sides uh, that it came with. So I want to shorten those up and put actual proper tray sides. And then I also am thinking about doing a different dog box. Um, so as for dog box, I want to get, so the current one's like 600, 700 mil wide. And I want to get like a 900 mil to a meter, meter wide. Uh, ideally, there's just not enough space in there. And I can fit anything I need to fit. I can get a trailer. It's more about this thing being a capable four wheel drive that's, that's fun and doesn't break itself or doesn't get stuck too often. Um, and then after that, the plan for Lux is just going to be put lockers, front and rear lockers. I don't know if I'm going to go an e-locker or air locker, but let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm honestly tossed up because I know with the air lockers, you can have problems of leaking, but then if you don't set up the wiring right on the e-locker, then it you can have a bad time too. So yeah, a bit conflicted, but anyways, I hope you like a bit of a different episode. So just a bit of a walk around on the uh, Luxy and uh, just go through everything. So my goal with this one is um kind of keep a purity spec like like i don't i'm not going to go nuts i'm not going to try and do coilovers or start welding shit on the chassis it's that's not what this car's about this car's about just being a farm truck a capable a capable farm truck that has a turbo essentially so yeah follow along subscribe if you want to see see just how uh just how capable you can make this little thing anyways catch you guys on the next one What the dog doing?